Thank you very much, uh, House Chair. We stand here to... Order, Honorable Shibambo. Can you just take a seat? I wanted them to sort out the clock. Can we please start the clock correctly? Table staff, can you please start the clock correctly? Honorable Shibambo has five minutes. Order, Honorable Shibambo, you can move the motion. Thank, thank you very much, uh, House Chair. We, we stand here to talk about uh, the incomplete transition, the negotiated and extremely violent transition from apartheid to what we currently have, that uh, there's still a lot of legislations that exist that come from the colonial calm apartheid past that in the process of transition there was an agreement in the negotiation process that all the laws that existed under the colonial calm apartheid regime are going to be enforced unless if they are repealed in the first democratic parliament there was the process of uh, uh, the rationalization laws that were passed in terms of trying to bring into commonality some of the legislations that existed in various territories that were so-called self-governing under apartheid. And it repealed certain legislations and brought into some sense the kind of laws that have to govern our society. But there is still a lot of legislation that defines the apartheid and racist past, the nonsensical apartheid past, even on petty issues that speak to how public holidays must be handled. For instance, there is a law that is called the prohibition of the exhibition of films on Sundays and public holidays. A law that was passed under apartheid in 1977 that says that you cannot watch movies on Sundays and public holidays is still in effect. You have got lots of petty laws, the Trespassing Act is still in existing. There are lots of things. There is a law that speaks about the prohibition of disguise acts. But the most important one is the Righteous Assemblies Act, which uh, our colleague is going to speak to later. A law that states in its objects that it aims to protect the Europeans against non-Europeans. And that is a law that is being utilized by the National Prosecutions Authority now to, to prosecute the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Economic Freedom Fighters. It's still in existence. Why are we there is because the current government, the ANC, has neglected the important task of legislative reform and repeal of all legislations that existed prior 1994. It has now become the, the real uh, committee that manages the common affairs of the bourgeoisie, both petty and genuine bourgeoisie. They fight amongst themselves in terms of how they must administer interest of the bourgeoisie and not care about the foundations of South Africa's constitutional democracy. So we stand here to give a concrete proposal that we should constitute an ad hoc committee here in Parliament, identify all the laws that were passed under the colonial calm apartheid regime, and then refer them to a proper process, of course working with the relevant organs of the state, including the executive and judiciary, but the Parliament must be the primary uh, organ that is responsible for the repeal of all this legislation. Let's, let's, let's identify that process through an ad hoc committee, engage, call for public submissions on people who are dealing with uh, issues that are affecting them uh, in, in terms of laws that happened, uh, that happened in the past. And then we come back to parliament and repeal all those legislations. We appreciate that you are failing in virtually everything else that you are doing, particularly in terms of economic management and transformation. 
but you cannot fail on a simple task of repealing all the legislations that came from the past so that we give a constitutional court the space to deal with how do we interpret the laws that have been adopted by this particular parliament and not be the one that repeals legislation. Just last week, the constitutional call was repealing some municipal legislations that throughout has been in existence around issues of how uh, who is responsible for which all the apartheid take this decision it's rational we Order. know there's mediocrity in terms of how we interpret honorable this but let's work on it together thank you very much up. honorable the minister of justice and Constitution correctional services